even though each shuttle was designed to fly 100 missions. The Columbia Accident Investigation Board called the shuttle an aging spacecraft, with the odds of losing another orbiter and crew increasing with each subsequent flight. NASA's human spaceflight program was faced with several basic challenges, including coming up with a successor to the shuttle fleet. However, with an impending cancellation of the shuttle program looming, shuttle managers recommitted themselves to the paramount task of safely completing the International Space Station. It would become the program's mantra to be repeated over and over again, not only to the media, but also for every worker in the shuttle program. No launch schedule was too tight and no mission too important to be rushed. We ought to treat every flight, in a sense, as a return to flight. This is truly a test program. We go back, we make sure everything is right, we double check, and then we go commit in a flight readiness review that we're actually ready to go fly. On July 26, 2005, Discovery gets the shuttle program flying again. This is shuttle launch control at T minus three hours is our pilot. We're now into the suit up room. T-minus 10 seconds, go from eight engine start. Seven, six, five, three engines up and burning. Three, two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery, beginning America's new journey, and the vehicle has cleared the tower. Among the many changes instituted, the new R-bar pitch maneuver, or backflip. Station Discovery initiating RPM in three, two, one, mark will be used by each mission to the International Space Station. At arrival, the end-over-end -end flip allows the station crew to visually document the condition of the shuttle's belly and nose. Discovery and the STS-114 crew safely began the final phase of the shuttle program's historic journey with a smooth pre-dawn landing on August 9, 2005 at the Edwards Air Force Base, California. Stevie Ray, Suichi, Andy, Vegas, Charlie, Wendy, and Eileen, welcome home, friends. With this practically rebuilt space transportation system, each remaining shuttle mission would be safer than the one before, and its final flight, the safest. It's almost like we've had kind of three different uh, space shuttle programs. First 10 years, we're off learning how to fly the thing, deploying satellites and flying laboratories in the back. Next 10 years, we're doing more of that and we're going out on more and more spacewalks and we fly up to the Mir space station. And in the last 10 years, we use it to build about a million pound space station in orbit, which wouldn't have been possible without shuttle. It's a heck of a machine. When you look at the Hubble Space Telescope, uh, that would not have been possible without shuttle. And you look at the International Space Station, which certainly would not have been possible without shuttle. Um, every launch is an emotional experience watching what this nation has done, what NASA has done with the, the NASA contractor team. It's awesome, it's wonderful. We didn't spend a dime in space. Not one single penny has been spent in space. Every single penny that went into the space shuttle program over its 30 plus years was spent right here on Earth. One, creating jobs, growing our economy, 
creating technological development of which we never dreamed, advancing science uh, and technology, even advancing the field of aeronautics. It just impresses me what people can do. What people can do. It's a, it's a big machine, it's a nice machine, it's a fantastic engineering marvel in my opinion, the whole space shuttle. But what's the real marvel is the people behind it that make it go. Having a space shuttle enabled us to be, to be able to complete our science and do some really great things to advance the area of metallurgy. Without the space shuttle, an experiment like this one could not have been conducted. The shuttle is very important for us to learn and be able to conduct long period experiments. Out of the 50 states, 48 of them have vendors that provide parts or equipment uh, to uh, the, uh, the space uh, shuttle program. So it's uh, a vast uh, a uh, cross-section of America that makes the American space program what it is. Change is inevitable. As much as people don't like change, it's the only thing that's constant in our lives. And we have to change, we have to transition from shuttle uh, to a new future, which we're going to define, which can be even better. Uh, a future that allows us to explore beyond our home planet, to seek our destiny, to, to learn what we couldn't possibly learn if we were stuck in low Earth orbit. And since its return to flight, the shuttle program has been almost singularly focused on completing construction of the space station. I think back of all the challenges and all the things that had to work right. You know, a lot of these interfaces never came together before. All the shuttle flights, the 20 plus shuttle flights that went into assembly, all the Soyuz flights, the Progress flights. To see this station come together in assembly is a true testimony to the international partnership. This is probably the most amazing research facility ever constructed in space, and it's constructed internationally and it operates every day. 24 hours a day doing world-class research internationally, and there is no more amazing facility than what we have in orbit. Through and possibly beyond 2020, the ISS will serve as the world's first full-time research laboratory in microgravity. Among zero-G experiments already conducted aboard the station, several have led to promising breakthroughs in the research and treatment of cancer. Many other on-orbit science findings have the potential to significantly improve quality of life back on Earth. In May 2009, Atlantis and its STS-125 crew took to space not to visit the ISS, but to return to the Hubble Space Telescope for its final servicing mission. On five spacewalks, Atlantis astronauts repaired and upgraded the Hubble Telescope to significantly improve its capacity to explore the depths of the universe until at least 2014. I think of all the fingerprints that are all over this thing. It's a phenomenal piece of machinery. It's a phenomenal airplane. And it really is an engineering marvel. The uh, space shuttle will uh, go down in history as one of the great flying machines that uh, America has, has produced. The space shuttle, you know, at this time was a vehicle for bringing people together from all around the planet and having us work in harmony for the betterment of humankind. We may not have understood when we first built it what all we'd be able to accomplish with it. And after many years, we've realized just how useful it has been. It's been a learning experience on, on how to operate and live in space. What can you say about the space shuttle? It has changed everything. Well, the shuttle, from my perspective, is one of the, the great things that this nation has done. It was uh, a lot of pride. Uh, like I said, it's, it's inspiring to come to work every single day to work on this program. I'd go tomorrow if I had the opportunity. Lift off has been challenging of Columbia. Discovery and the shuttle has been landed. For more than 30 years, the fleet and thousands of Americans dedicated to its safety and success have toiled in exhilarating triumph, heartbreaking tragedy, and most often, quiet obscurity. Their contributions have extended beyond the bounds of space. Among others, Shuttle-derived technologies have been used in developing an artificial heart and limbs, three-dimensional biotechnology, a light for treating tumors in children, and improving crime prevention and wildfire detection. From crawler driver to payload specialist, from scuba diver to pilot, from scientist to engineer, they and many like them throughout the nation share a commitment to sending humankind safely 
into space. That dedication, as much as any other acclaim, will be the legacy of America's space shuttle. I think we'll be remembered in thousands of years, you know, as perhaps the most incredible technological uh, feat of humans of our time. As is the order of life, an ending for the space shuttle becomes a beginning for a space-bound successor. Soon, America will again send astronauts into orbit and beyond to do what NASA does best, explore.